So I've started off by cleansing my skin and now I'm going to apply my favorite moisturizer. This is the Hydrate Moisturizer, so it's a little bit more lightweight, but it actually packs a massive punch when it comes to moisture. And then I'm going to be using a lip scrub. What I really like about this is it has little nodules on the applicator that actually scrub your lips, but it has a nourishing lip balm within it. And what I like to do is then use a lip balm over the top of this product to lock it in place. I'm going to be using the Dr. Paw Paw and sealing that over the top of the pixie and it creates like a little lip mask. To seal in that moisturizer on the skin, I'm actually going to be using a hyaluronic acid serum. So this is going to keep all of that moisture in there. It's going to give the skin a really nice glow and a bounce. And I applied it the way that you do on Instagram. Though I'm not really sure why they do this, but... I gave it a go. Once all of those products are on the skin, I'm then going to wait five minutes, a whole five minutes, to let that moisture and everything sink into the skin. And five minutes seems like a long time, but your skin is going to love it. With all our skincare out of the way, we can now apply some of our primers for our makeup. I'm going to be using two different primers. One is through the center of my face. This is a mattifying primer. It creates like a soft focus, but it also gives the makeup something to grab hold of. So I use it mostly through the center of my face, around my nose. And the other primer that I use is more of an illuminating one. And I use this around the edge of my face. This just gives the skin a really healthy glow. Once all that is done, I'm then going to take my concealer, and this is the Neutralizing Concealer by Maybelline, and it was actually a brand new one, and you know when you keep twisting it and nothing comes out, and then you twist it some more, and then all of a sudden just a ton of it comes out? Yeah, that's what happened. I basically use this around the eye area, the nose area, basically anywhere where I want the most amount of coverage. I was really impressed with this concealer. I haven't used it in a while, and I was like, damn, this is really good. I start off by just tapping it out with my fingertips, keeping it in the area that I really want it, and then I went in with my brush. These are my brushes. Check out the description box to the link and a discount code. Aren't they so pretty? But I'm going to be starting off with the F20, which is my favorite foundation brush. And I'm just going to buff out that concealer a little bit. And then we can go in and apply the foundation. I'm going to be using the Matte Perfection and also the Long Lasting Breathable, which has a really cute applicator. And I kind of dab this through the center of my face. And then I apply the other one on the back of my hand. Make sure it's nice and flat on the back of your hand and then dip your brush into it. Making sure to only coat the white tips of the brush. It's a very important step. And I'm going to be buffing and blending out that foundation. But what I'm going to do is use the woodpecker motion to start with. So this is basically bouncing the brush off and on the skin over and over again. Making sure to keep it at like a 90 degree angle. So don't tilt it down or tilt it up. Keep it nice and flat, just bouncing off and on. And then once you get the majority of the product on there, you can then use a slight buffing motion. And I also like to use the edge of the brush just to get around the brows, making sure not to forget them. And just buff and blend that foundation in. My biggest tip that I can give you guys is to use a powder foundation over your liquid. You only need a very small amount of it. Make sure your skin isn't too wet when you apply it because otherwise it will just grab onto one area. So just apply a very small amount of it all over the skin. Don't buff it in just yet. Just apply a thin layer and then you can start to very softly sweep and blend this into the skin. Leaving the eyes to last so that you don't get too much powder around the eye area because it can look a little bit harsh. And just keep buffing and blending. I feel the more you work with this product, the better it is. The powder foundation locks in the liquid. It's also great for beginners if you struggle with your application when it comes to liquid foundation. Moving on to contour next, I'm gonna be using my favorite brush. This is so soft, I love it so much. And a little bit of Hoola bronzer. And I'm working this on the forehead, right near the hairline. And then sweep this down across the temples, bringing it then across the cheeks. And we're going across the cheeks to start with. We then come back onto ourselves and then sweep it down across the jaw. And that's sort of our first layer. I then go in and apply a little bit more just on the hollow of the cheeks. This is going to make sure you're going to get the most flattering and flawless finish. Use whatever's left over just on the tip of the nose, a little bit on the bridge, and then just underneath the lip as well. So not onto the chin, just underneath the lip. And not only is this great for contour, but it's also great for baking as well. So I'm going to take the brush and I'm just going to remove any excess product. And then I'm going to take my baking powder. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to apply this underneath the hollow of the cheek. So feel for the hollow of the cheek and then just tap this underneath along the jawline. And you're applying quite a heavy layer because you're going to leave this to sit on the skin until later. So don't worry about over applying it. Just make sure you're keeping it nice and low, nice and sharp. This will actually sharpen up your contour, make it look a little bit more defined. You can also then use it alongside the edge of the nose. So don't apply this on the top of the nose, apply it on the edge of the nose and you can softly sweep this then underneath the eyes as well. And this will brighten up this area too. You're going to look really cool and super fancy for a while. I then use whatever's left over on the brush and I just tap this in the center of my forehead just to take any of that shine away. And you want to leave this on for at least five minutes or you can wait until you've done the rest of your makeup and knock it off at the end. And there you go. That is my full coverage foundation routine with baking and contour added in. If you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll see you in the next one.